The Ice Rink Usually a place of excitement and competition, it has also been witness to some of the most tragic moments in sports history, where lives were lost while trying to win. So watch the video till the end to see some hockey players who died on the ice. Let's start with number 6, All Sid Lawrence Said Incident. It happened a long time ago when hockey was much different. He played for a team called the Alexandria Crescents in Ontario. In 1905, during a game, Loring got hurt really badly and died right there on the ice. It was the first time something like that happened in hockey. The Crescents had a big fight with another team because they followed different religions. One team was Catholic and the other was Protestant. It sounds weird, right? Alan Looney, who was known for being violent, attacked Lauren with his hockey stick and Lauren died from the injuries. Looney hit Lauren on the chin and then on the left temple. At first they said Looney did a really bad thing and charged him with murder, but later they said maybe he didn't mean to do it on purpose. They said maybe he did it because he felt scared or didn't think. So they let him go. Crazy. Number 5. Sergei Zoltok Sergei Zoltok was a Latvian hockey player who spent most of his career playing in the NHL for 10 seasons. When the NHL stopped playing during the 2004-2005 season, Sergei went back to Latvia to play for the Riga 2000 team. Sergei had a heart condition called cardiac arrhythmia, which can be really dangerous depending on how serious it is. It's not clear how bad Sergei's condition was. In 2003, Sergei had to leave a game because of his heart acting up. He stayed in the hospital overnight and then came back to play 7 games later, but things took a tragic turn the next year. 2004, during a game, Sergei had to leave with only 5 minutes left. He collapsed and died in the arms of his teammate Darby Hendrickson in the locker room. That's a real friend, staying by his side through such a tough moment. The doctors found out that Sergei's heart failed, which caused his death. He was only 31 years old and left behind a wife and two kids. It's sad because it seems like maybe this could have been prevented. It's a really unfortunate loss. The next one is even worse than this, but not worse than number 2, so watch till the end. Number 4. Adam Johnson An American ice hockey player played briefly in the NHL before moving to Europe to continue playing. He was part of the Nottingham Panthers in the Elite Ice Hockey League when he tragically passed away at the age of 29. This tragedy happened last year, on October 28, 2023. During a game, there was an accident on the ice. Adam's neck got cut by a skate in a collision. Despite trying to skate back to the bench, he collapsed on the ice. Players from both teams quickly formed a protective circle around him by locking arms. Medical staff rushed to help him right there on the ice, before the arena was cleared and Adam was taken to the hospital. Sadly, he was officially declared dead at the hospital. It's a tragic reminder of the risks athletes take in the game they love. Number 3. Dmitry Uchaikin In a sad incident involving a hockey stick, Dmitry Uchaikin passed away at the age of 32 in Kazakhstan. He was playing for the Ertish Pavlodar team during a playoff match in the Kazakhstan Ice Hockey Championship back in 2013. During the game, Dmitry, who played as a forward, got hit hard in the neck by an opponent's stick. Instead of seeking immediate medical help, which would have been wise, Dmitry went home, even though he was feeling unwell. Later that night, he fell into a coma and was rushed to the hospital. Tragically, Dimitri died from bleeding in his brain during the night. At the time, his wife was pregnant and they already had a daughter together.
Number two, Bengt Ackerblom. Bengt was born in Sweden in 1967 and sadly passed away in 1995 at the age of 28. Bengt Ackerblom's story is one of the scariest accidents to happen on the ice. Ackerblom played as a center in Swedish Professional Hockey League. We won't dive into too many details about the league, but just imagine it like finding your way through an IKEA store, a bit confusing. He was part of Mora IK, a Swedish hockey club, when tragedy struck during a match against Brynäs IF in October 1995. It's like something out of a horror movie. Bengt lost his life when a skate blade accidentally cut his carotid artery, a major blood vessel in the neck. An injury like this, called an arterial bleed, is really serious. A person can bleed out in just a couple of minutes, though it usually takes a bit longer. Despite being rushed to the hospital, Bengt didn't make it through the surgery. Now in Swedish ice hockey, players have to wear neck guards to help prevent accidents like this from happening again. It's a sad reminder of how dangerous sports can be and the importance of safety measures. Number 1. Timur Faizotdinov Timur passed away in Yaroslav, Russia in 2021, when he was only 19 years old. He was the captain of the HC Dynamo St. Petersburg team and was playing in a big hockey tournament called the Harlamov Cup against Lokomotiv Yardoslav. During the game, Timur, who played defense, got hit by the plug in a sensitive spot called the carotid artery. Just like Bengt Ackerblom's accident, where a skate accidentally cut his artery, this kind of injury can make someone bleed out really fast. Even though Timur made it to the hospital and held on for four days, sadly he couldn't recover from the injury. What are your thoughts on these tragic cases of deaths on the ice? Please share your opinions in the comment box below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications whenever we upload a new video.